Taylor Braun starting at one forward position. Marshall Bjorklund, Trayvon Wright, and Corey Brown the starting five for North Dakota State. Looking at the group from Southern Mississippi, there is one early change here that we saw, and I don't believe we're going to see Watson here to start. Neil Watson had started last game, but he is kind of dealing with a jaw injury, and I do not see him out here to start tonight. Instead, it's going to be Deontay Houston from the Bronx, New York, getting the start for Southern Mississippi. Brooks, Brown, Craig, and Boardingham are the starting five. As we get set to tip things off here in Fargo as Wright and Boardingham are at the center circle. The tip won by Wright. Alexander will track it down, and the Bison will have the first possession here tonight. The Golden Eagles coming in 2-0, including a seven-point win at DePaul earlier this week. And they're a team that plays a heavy 2-2-1 zone. It's a 2-3 zone at times. A lot of pressure that forces turnovers like that one. First turnover for North Dakota State on its opening possession. Not much offensively, really, that Southern Mississippi does here, with the exception of really just some high ball screens and a little bit of ISO. That's about all you'll see offensively out of them. And there's that high screen, Brooks drug his foot and each team turns it over on their opening possession. Brooks is the player that they run those high screens for, try to get him some open looks from three. He's their best three-point shooter and he's a volume shooter, so he'll, he'll be the player to see coming a lot of around those high ball screens. And here's that full court pressure that we talk about. It's a 2-2-1 two -two press that Southern Miss plays. They force a lot of turnovers against DePaul earlier this week. And again, they'll sit back into a 2-3 zone that almost looks like a 1-3-1. Corey Brown inside of Yorkland. He was shoved from behind by Brown. First foul on Brown. First team foul for Southern Miss. Keep an, air, keep an eye out on that spot of the floor. Against this zone defense, the Bison are going to try to get the ball on the baseline and right there toward the top of the free throw line, right where Bjorkland picked that ball up. The Bison running their motion offense. Trayvon Wright. Trapped. Skips the pass over to Braun. Couple dribbles for Braun. Wright, first three-pointer of the game is an air ball. Kept in bounds by Craig, and here comes Southern Miss. It's Brooks. You mentioned a team that doesn't have a lot of half-court sets. They really get out and run in transition off those turnovers. When you get them in the half-court, sometimes they will look disorganized. Another turnover. That's two turnovers early here for Southern Mississippi as Brooks was looking for Michael Craig. Marshall Bjorklund had position on Craig, and Craig only 6'5", but really a guy that uses his body well, scores a lot inside, was very successful against DePaul earlier this week. Very physical player, plays a lot bigger than that 6'5", strong upper body, moves a lot of people around in the paint. Wise and once again break the pressure. Corey Brown will spot up and take the jumper. That's off the front of the rim and no good, and we're still scoreless as we tick down towards 18 minutes to go here in the first half. Houston, Craig, swings it over to Brown. The Temple transfer. Brown driving inside. Try to drop it off. It's taken away by Braun. Bison have numbers. Braun will pull it back out. Cross pass to Alexander. To Braun. Trayvon Wright over to Alexander, open for three. And that one is off the rim, no good. Trayvon Wright, the offensive board. And a foul will be called on Houston. Those are the looks that Saul Phillips wants from his guys, moving the ball side to side, trying to get it inside, outside, but this is a really good look by Alexander, and nice activity under the basket by Trayvon to draw that foul. Nodak mutual insurance replay. Braun. Right, Braun, straightaway three-pointer, off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Brown. We're still scoreless with 17.45 to go here in the first half. turnover at Southern Miss. A little sloppy here to start things off offensively. You see Craig trying to use that muscle that we talked about in the paint. Trying to be strong but shuffle the shoes a little bit. And Craig will have a seat and in comes Jeremiah Eason. Transfer from Central Florida. Strong shot blocker on defense. Right will break the pressure. Get it straight on right at the top of the key. Brown 
Alexander. Cross-court pass was taken away by Brown, and then Taylor Braun picks up the foul, his I first. I thought they were going to whistle Brown for that foul. Actually, it looked like he got more Braun, but fortunately, that one's on Taylor. And Chip Armelin, the transfer from the University of Minnesota, into the ball game as Houston will sit. There's a look at Saul Phillips. The NDSU head coach in his sixth season. Brown drives inside, try to drop it off for Eason. And they call this one off of North Dakota State, so it will remain with Southern Miss. Both teams very sluggish here offensively, Jamal. Don't think this is the start a lot of people envision. They picture this one being an up and down affair with a lot of scoring, no scoring so far. Brown drops it off. Boardingham lost the handle going up, and Corey Brown picked up the foul. His first personal second team foul, and Boardingham really a monster underneath. Very quick springs we saw in the shoot around today. Jamal only 6'7, but he makes up for it with his athleticism. Leads the team in rebounds with eight per game. Very, very bouncy in the paint. See him get up in a hurry. Draws a lot of fouls, too. And Boardingham, a junior college transfer from Seward. County Community College, originally from Newark, New Jersey. And Boardingham misses his first free throw attempt. You mentioned the Community College part where there are nine players on this Southern Miss team that transfer from another school, be it a Community College or like Temple, as we mentioned Brown was. And Boardingham 0 for 2 at the line, and we're still scoreless here at the Bison Sports Arena. Inside of Yorkland. Inside to Trayvon Wright. Trayvon Wright, the first two of the, after, of the evening here for North Dakota State. Nice cut without the basketball by Trayvon. Gets him an easy deuce. Now the ball with Armelin. Armelin drives. Skies high, and that's off the rim. No good. Rebounded by Alexander. Here come the Bison. Alexander, quick pass to Trayvon Wright, who drives inside, lost the basketball, then tipped it back out. Braun's got it, drives inside, drops it for Bjorklund, and Marshall Bjorklund has his first two of the evening, and the Bison lead it by four. Boardingham facing up on Bjorklund, tries to drive inside. Boardingham off the rim, no good. Tipped back up and in by Eason. And Southern Mississippi, finally, after 4.15, is on the board here tonight. And that's a battle to watch in the paint between Bjorkland and Boardingham. Boardingham a little bit quicker than Marshall is. Marshall's got some strength to him, though. Corey Brown drops it off for Trayvon Wright, who was fouled by Boardingham. And Trayvon Wright will have a couple of free throws coming up. When we come back, it's 4-2 on the Shields scoreboard. First half action from the Bison Sports Arena. It's affected by disaster by visiting redcross.org slash North Dakota. For North Dakota State, Jamal, keeping out of transition and finding those shooters, the best defense for Southern Mississippi has led to a very good offense for them. And then ball reversals and attack, and most importantly, boxing out. A lot of offensive rebounds for the Southern Miss squad. And for the Golden Eagles, they want to get up and go, push the tempo and attack. We talked about how they like to force those turnovers, but when they get them, they're going the other way. That's where the bulk of their offense will come from. They want to be physical inside, draw some fouls on the buys, and also want to crash the offensive glass. Trayvon Wright, 2-2 two two from the line. He's got four points, and the buys and lead it 6-2 on the Shield scoreboard. Brooks brings it up here for Southern Miss, and Taylor Braun with the steal. Braun finished it with a big two-hand jam, and Taylor Braun has his first two of the night on the big finish. You see the Bison forcing the turnover going the other way, and that's something Saul Phillips stressed in practice, telling his guys not to sit back and be stagnant. Force some turnovers. Bricks, Bur excuse me, that's Brooks, the quick pull. And that's a foul on Uday Epinchekwu. Here you see the replay, Taylor Braun getting in the passing lane, going the other way and showing off his athleticism with the two-hand throwdown. First foul on 
Efin Chekawu. I believe I got that right, Jamal. I've been practicing that one all day. That's one we were hoping that uh, we wouldn't have to say, but yeah, I think you got it right. Trayvon Wright to Mike Felt. Now Mike Felt in the ball game for the first time. Inside to Bjorklund, who traveled with it. Got the ball at the free throw line, but shuffled the feet. Another turnover for North Dakota State. You saw what happened when North Dakota State doesn't get the ball inside. A lot of perimeter passes. You saw the shot clock winding down. Eventually, they were able to get it into Marshall. That's where they want. Did get the travel, though. Bingaya also in the game. That is Matt Bingaya from the Bronx, New York. Gives it off to Chip Armelin. Back to Bingaya, and now the top of the key to Houston. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. Armelin. Fadeaway jumper, tough shot off the back of the rim, no good. And another loose ball foul on Southern Miss. This is what happens when Southern Miss doesn't force the turnovers, doesn't get in the transition. You see him setting picks, but a lot of guys are just standing around watching somebody hoping that someone can make a play. That's the type of defense the Bison want to play here going forward. Foul on Bing Aya. And the foul is quickly piling up here for Southern Miss. They got five team fouls. Hey, LeBron will drive it up. Kicks it out to Mike Felt for three. And it's good. First three of the night for Mike Felt. It only takes one after a rough shooting night from deep against St. Mary's to come right away. First deep ball from Felt is a good one. And the Bison lead is at nine here early. And Felt whistled for the foul as he hand checked Bingaya at top of the key. Third team foul, first on Felt. You, that's what you want to see from Felt. Yeah, he got the foul. You want to see him come out, fire away right away, have some confidence. Saul said that yelling at him isn't going to make the ball go in. When he's having a rough shooting night, you got to let him go and you got to let him get in the rhythm. Hopefully, he can do that today. Gerald Brooks and Michael Craig both back in the game for Southern Miss. Craig driving inside. Good job defensively there by Kading. Eason working on Bjorklund. Up off the rim and in 4-2. He earned those two points. And Eason so far has all four Southern Miss points as they continue to pressure in the backboard in that 2-2-1 press. Alexander all the way. Kicked it out to Felt. Another three-pointer. That one is off the rim and no good. Tipped out of bounds. And it will go to Southern Miss. Aaron Brown in the game for Chip Armelin, and here comes Jordan Auberg as Marshall Bjorklund will take a seat. Bison don't lose much inside with Auberg and Kading in there as well, trying to keep the size advantage. Auberg, the senior from Rothsay, Minnesota. Brooks inside to Craig. Kading's got him chested up. Back out to Brooks. Now inside again to Craig. Turned over as Brown couldn't handle the pass. Here comes Felt. And he just about was able to finish it. There was a foul, and Felt will have a couple of free throws coming up. Bison in full-on attack mode. Take a look at the replay here. Felt forcing the turnover, going into the teeth of the defense, drawing the foul, and as you mentioned, the fouls are racking up for the Golden Eagles. That's a six-team foul. Felt a couple of free throws, and we have yet to see Watson, and now here he finally comes into the game. Transfer from Coffeyville Community College. And Watson broke his jaw in early October. It took him a while. He's still not 100% back. They say he's not the player that he has been. Still working his way back to be that player, but at 63 steals last year, really a handful on defense. Mike Felt one of two from the line. He's got four to lead NDSU. Watson to Brooks to Brown driving inside. Little floater off the rim. No good. And there's Fordingham coming in with a big finish on the offensive board for two. You got to keep a body on him at all times. He is quick off his feet. You see what he can do with just a little bit of space. Middle line, middle line. 
Southern Miss continuing to work and extend that pressure in that 2-3 zone. Felt picked up his dribble, got it to Alexander, back to Felt. Quick trigger for three. No good. Keating with the rebound. Felt again for three. That's off the boards. No good. And the foul's going to go on Southern Miss as Jordan Auberg hit the deck. And that's the 17th foul, and Auberg will be shooting free throws. 11.47 to go here in the first half. The Bison leading by six. 12-6 on the Shield scoreboard. Bison lead at 12-6 here at the Bison Sports Screen, and neither team really shooting it that well from the outside, Jamal. Not at all. Forcing a lot of turnovers, too. The Bison only turned over three times. They forced six, though. That's gotten them some easy buckets because you're right, when they're not going in transition, they're not getting much in the half court. Jordan Auberg will have a couple of free throw attempts coming up. And Boardingham has two fouls now, so he's got to be careful, and he takes his seat on the bench. The one and one for Auberg is up and good. Boardingham probably the, the one player that Southern Miss really didn't want to lose early in the foul trouble. Changes the game when he's not out there in their half court sets. And Auberg buries both, and the Bison lead is up to eight. Watson setting things up to Brooks. Will look to drive on Braun and almost lost the basketball again. Blocking call on their Marshall Bjorklund as Brooks throw it inside. That is the first on Bjorklund. The Bison have done a good job of staying in the shooting pocket of Brooks. When he comes off those curls and screens, there's a man right in his face, no quick release. Just like that. Brooks, no hesitation there. Pulls the trigger and buries it. First three for Gerald Brooks. And Southern Miss is within five. Brooks, a senior from the Bronx. Yorkland hands it off to Alexander. And Alexander threw the basketball away as he left his feet on the double team. And another turnover there for North Dakota State, their fourth. Nodak Mutual Insurance replay. This is the first time the Bison have really struggled to break that press, the 2-2-1. Two, two, Got a lot of trouble. You never want to leave your feet to make a pass. Another turnover for NDSU. Watson, quick trigger for three. That's off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound there as Norval Carey came in and out battled Chris Kading and he draws the foul. Carries one of those long, athletic, lanky guys that we talked about, six foot seven. And the length and athleticism of the Southern Miss team really makes them act active on the offensive glass. Norville Carey showing you why. And Carey just a sophomore, another transfer from Red Lion Christian Academy, originally from the Virgin Islands, as Chip Armelin checks back in for Brooks. The Bison have to break the 2-2-1 again after the make. And Carey hits his second attempt. And it's 14-10 North Dakota State as we approach the midway point of the first half. Bison trying to work it around here on the perimeter. Corey Bound drives inside. That's swatted away by Effin Achekwu. And here comes Southern Miss in transition. Watson, checked there by Corey Brown. High screen, and they got a moving screen that time on Carey. First foul for Norville Carey, 18 foul for Southern Miss. And the team foul's really piling up here, Jamal, for the Golden Eagles. Not a very deep team either, especially once you get past their initial bigs. Watson will take a seat, and he's not happy about it. And as Deontay the... Houston checks back in. Assistant coaches have to go over there and talk to Watson. He's really unhappy on that bench. Trayvon Wright, quick turnaround on the baseline. And Trayvon Wright has another field goal. He's got six. And the Bison lead is six. Houston to Brown. 
Shot 41% from three-point range his last year at Temple before transferring to Southern Miss. He was a catch-and-shoot guy. Stands on the perimeter, plays off the penetrating kick. That's more his game as opposed to being a slasher there. And Carey drives inside and draws the foul on Trayvon Wright. First foul on Wright, 16 foul on North Dakota State. So Carey back to the line. And Trey really just one of those guys, Jamal, that seems to every year to get better and better. And you saw the way he finished there. His athleticism is freaky, something they have not had on this team until he got here. And his defense has always been the calling card with that athleticism, blocks a ton of shots, alters a lot of shots, and allows him to play a little bit off of his man and still contest just about everything. His defense has been stellar from the get-go, and his offensive game has really, really improved. Carry two of two from the line there, three of four on the night. And it's 16 to 12, North Dakota State. Braun breaks the pressure, kicks it off to Corey Brown. Back to Braun for three. That is off the rim, no good. Braun, Brown, I should say, checks down the rebound and back to Taylor. Taylor lost the basketball, or nearly did. Trayvon Wright. Good ball movement here by the Bison. Brown trapped, lost the handle. Taken away by Evan the Deck, Check Wu. Here comes Brown driving inside. Around a couple of defenders and then finished over Trayvon Wright. And it's 16 14. Trayvon Wright for three. That is off the rim, no good. Another offensive board for Corey Brown. Trayvon drops it off for Marshall Bjorklund, and he finishes over Carey and draws the foul. And credit to Corey Brown. That's the second possession where he came away with a key offensive rebound. This one finishes as you take a look at the Nodak Mutual Insurance replay with a bucket inside for Marshall Bjorklund and a foul. Wholesale substitutions here coming for Southern Miss as Brooks, Armelin, Effin to Chekwu will also take a seat. Here comes Boardingham with two fouls back in the game, along with Gerald Brooks and Houston. When you're Bjorklund, it's easy to lead the country in field goal percentage when you're shooting from there. He gets buckets like that because he moves well, keeps his hands up, and he's able to finish through contact. Bjorklund unable to finish off the three-point play as his first free throw rattles off. Lead four here for North Dakota State. Brooks inside the Boardingham. Boardingham works on Bjorklund, little floater. Nice finish there for Boardingham, and Davion Boardingham has four, and the lead for North Dakota State trimmed to two. Braun tried to find Bjorklund. Out of bounds, the ball will remain here with North Dakota State. Houston out. Back comes Watson, along with Jeremiah Eason. Inside of Yorkland. Nice finish with a baby hook right over Boardingham, who has those two fouls and really couldn't challenge at the rim. And you knew Marshall knew that, goes right at him inside, and he's able to finish up high. Bingaya around the back, cut off, tries to finish. Trayvon Wright swatted that one away, and here comes Corey Brown for the Bison. Boris Alexander will drive inside, and he missed the bunny underneath. I think he was expecting more contact or someone to be there for Southern Miss. He's caught off guard. Brooks back quickly the other way, and he finishes with the left hand. I should say Brooks, too, is also a lefty. Quickly back the other way, and a boy, and a, ooh, that's going to be on Boardingham. That's his third as he picks up the block. I thought that was an offensive foul, too. He started to say that. Tough break for Southern Miss. So third foul on Boardingham. The Bison lead it by two. And Corey Brown will have a pair of free throws when we come back to the Bison Sports Arena. It's 2018 on the Shield scoreboard. Proud to bring you Bison basketball here on MeTV and also across the state of North Dakota on NBC. Ten games on tap this season, including tonight's matchup with Southern Mississippi. We also got two HD games coming up on December 21st against Towson. And the season finale against Denver, which could be for a Summit League championship. That March 1st game against Denver could have a lot on the line. It's a really good team. 
Corey Brown knocks down his first free throw. The Bison six of eight from the line here so far tonight, and they lead it by three. Brown starting as a true freshman last year. Defense kept him in the lineup. He was a bulldog on that end of the floor. Very aggressive. Saw hoping his offense can catch up with his defense this year. Two and two from the line there. First two points for Corey Brown. Brooks, top of the key, will set things up. Felt guarding Watson. Inside to Eason, and they're going to get Jordan Auberg for his first foul. That's the 17th foul in North Dakota State. And Eason will have a one and one opportunity coming up. No need to reach in if you're Jordan. Just stand there and play straight up. Make the man post up and make him beat you on the post with a move or two. Eason knocks down the first one. The Eagles, 4 of 7 from the line so far here tonight. Surprise, the game is as close as, as it is. The Eagles haven't had an opportunity to push the ball like they normally do. Their transition offense has not been there. But the lead for the Bison, game. down to two. Brown will dribble, picks up his dribble, and now he's caught. Gets it back out to Mike Felt. And now Taylor Braun, who's really not had a lot of looks here offensively. Trayvon Wright looks for Auberg inside and taken away there by Brooks. Another turnover for North Dakota State. Brooks gives it up to Bingaya, driving inside. Now dishes off for Ethan, who gets it to go, and the foul. Another foul on Auberg, and he was looking for the shot down here. When Trayvon went up, Auberg thought it was going to be a shot. Take a look at the throw that mutual insurance replay as he gets deep position and finishes through contact. Tough, tough shot to go by Jeremiah Eason. Second foul on Auburg. And Eason now with eight points to lead the Golden Eagles off the bench. And after a slow start offensively, they've really surged here to have an opportunity to take the lead. I think Yorkland was in the lane early. Ball. Eason knocks down the free throw anyway, and he's got nine in the lead. First lead of the night for the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss. Let's see if the Bison can get back to giving the ball in the middle of the floor. They've been staying on the perimeter a lot their last few possessions. It hasn't really worked out for them. Marsha Bjorklin lost the handle. Out of bounds and another turnover for North Dakota State. That's their seventh so far here in the first half, and a team that usually takes very good care of the basketball. They haven't really had a crisp offensive possession in a while. These are the type of things that obviously can give Southern Miss some life and energy, and they've done that, taking the lead here. Bison need to bear down on defense. Watson, checked there by Mike Felt. Working off a screen, driving inside. Drops it off for Michael Craig and then swatted out of bounds Chris by Kading Chris Kading. With a nice help side defense, showing his length and athleticism. Take a look at the Nordak Mutual Insurance replays. He gets up in a hurry, takes care of that shot attempt. And that's something DePaul did not really do much of. They had a lot of big guys, but they did not really defend the rim very well against Michael Craig. Brooks, little floater. That's hard off the rim, no good. Offensive board to Craig. Inside to Eason. Fading away. And Jeremiah Eason has given Southern Miss a big spark off the bench. 11 first half points, and the Golden Eagles lead it by three. Pounding away inside is Southern Mississippi. Going right down on the block, going right at these Bison bigs. Points are starting to pile up for the Eagles. And it's a 7-0 run here for Southern Miss. And almost another turnover as Braun found Felt. Braun to Alexander, again double teamed. Felt pulls the trigger for three. That's off the rim, no good. Keating tipped it back out to Alexander, who dropped it inside for Bjorklund. And he lost the handle as Craig was defending and another turnover for North Dakota State. Here comes Brooks. Watson thought about the three. Now drops it inside to Craig. Craig lost the handle. 
off Michael Craig and a turnover on Southern Miss as Mike Felt came digging down from the perimeter. Good hustle by Felt. Craig had the block on this end, goes down to the offensive end of the floor, gets the ball on the block, and Felt keeps his wits about him, is able to swipe that one out off of Craig. Armelin Brooks and Norville Carey back in for Southern Miss. And substituting early and often here in this first half. And they've had players play more minutes in this game than they have all season so far. Yorkland to Kading. High post outside to Trayvon Wright. So Bjorklund, who's double teamed, spun out of it. And now Alexander drives inside, looking for Kading, tipped out of bounds by Craig with six on the shot clock. The Eagles are really starting to pack the lane, really swarming with their hands, really making things difficult for NDSU. Six on the shot clock. Inbounds pass from Alexander Bjorklund taken away by Brown. Transition for Brown, and he is fouled on the play. Two free throws coming up for Southern Miss, trying to build on a three-point lead. Nodak mutual insurance replay. Looks like a foul on Trayvon. Is he, nothing much he could do on that one. Trayvon Wright has to take a swipe at it, picks up another foul, his second. So Brown, a chance to extend that Southern Miss Lee, very good free throw shooter. Defense, offense in a hurry for Southern Miss, huh? And Brown knocks down the first. Here comes Brown from North Dakota State, the North Dakota State Brown in for Trayvon Wright. Second free throw attempt is up and is also good. Brown's got four, and Southern Miss leads it by five with four and a half to go here in the first half. And that run continues for Southern Miss. And this one stays put. A more scrappy defensive play as Watson almost came away with it. And check out the bench points here for Southern Miss. They're having their way inside as the Golden Eagles are taking away the paint from North Dakota State. Jeremiah Eason's a big part of that coming off the bench. Banging away inside, 6-7 frame. One of those bigs that we mentioned. But Southern Miss isn't an especially deep team. They don't like to play this many guys. They got in foul trouble, so they kind of had to go to this. But it's worked out well for them. And you see the coaches keeping the rotation the same now. And North Dakota State really needs a spark here offensively. They've gone through a significant drought. And it's been a 9-0 run here from Southern Miss. And this is kind of what Saul Phillips talked about with us yesterday, that they will go some streaks without scoring a lot of points, but then all of a sudden they can cause you to not score a whole lot either. Very good defensive team. Frankly, their defense looks a lot like Louisville. Yep. You can tell that Coach Tyndall has drawn has, from Patino. Has drawn from Rick Patino and the way his team plays defense. Saul Phillips also told us yesterday that, yes, we're going to go through some scoring droughts ourselves. You have to make sure you're stopping them on that end of the floor as well. And that's what makes this so frustrating for the Bison. Not only are they not scoring, they're giving up a ton of points. Braun had it ripped out of his hands by Brown. And North Dakota State just looking a little bit out of sync. 3.58 to go here in the first half. The Bison trailing by five on the Shield scoreboard. Three fifty-eight to go here in the first half. Southern Miss on a long run here. 9-0 run over the last five minutes to take a five-point lead here over North Dakota State. The Bison had an early 11-2 lead that they have seen slip away here in the last five minutes. Eight seconds on the shot clock. We'll see how fast the Bison can get into their set. Taylor Braun, tough shot, fading away off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound, or defensive rebound, corralled by Watson. Back into Brown. the post. Into Craig. Watson driving. Norville Carey went up after he got the feed and another foul there on the Bison. Chris Keating draws his first. And Southern Miss a chance to extend that lead from the free throw line here as Carey goes back to the line. He is three of four from there tonight. Smart play by Watson. The pump fake gets his man in the air. He's able to drive into the lane, attract more defenders. Drops it off to Carey, picks up the foul. 
Carey knocks down the first. Chip Armelin will take a seat as Gerald Brooks comes back into the game. Jordan Aber replaces Marshall Bjorklund. Second one also good for Norville Carey. He's five of six so far from the line tonight. And the Southern Miss lead is now up to seven on an 11-0 run. And this, here comes the pressure. And another turnover as Braun threw it away looking for Corey Brown. The Bison have unraveled on the offensive side of the ball. They haven't looked comfortable in about 10 minutes. Take a look at the Nodak Mutual Insurance replay. You see Braun trying to go with the cross-court pass. Sails it a little bit too high. And that's what that pressure for Southern Miss can do to you. It Nine turnovers already here, Jamal, for North Dakota State. And it took Southern Miss a while to really clamp down on the Bison, but they've started to do it. And you're, you're starting to see this full court trap really take effect. Brown inside to Eason, who's had a big first half. Watson thought about the three, now driving inside. Brooks, Brown open for three in the corner, and it's rattled home. Aaron Brown is first three, and Southern Miss has taken a 10-point lead. 14-0 run, and another turnover as Brown threw it away. 10 turnovers here in the first half for North Dakota State, who has not scored in about seven minutes. Saul Phillips is over there getting into Taylor Braun, making sure he knows to make better passes on these full court pressure to slow down. There's no rush. You got 10 seconds to get across that line. Use all 10 or nine and a half if you have to, but can't turn the ball over against the full court press. Michael Craig now top of the key. Watson. Elevates. That's off the backboard, no good, out of bounds. As Easton and Auberg went for it, off on Easton, and North Dakota State will get possession here. 2.16 to go, and Jamal, you'd think that at some point, North Dakota State has to figure something out here and not go into halftime down double digits. Well, these are the type of droughts that... Points can, off turnovers there. You really can't get out of them. See him turn the ball over nine times, you mentioned, Southern Miss, 13 points off of those, and sometimes it's tough to get out of these holes. And another turnover. Felt threw it away. Transition basket. Brown finishes. And it's a 16-0 run for Southern Miss. What happened here? An inverse, invert whistle by the official. And there's a look at Saul Phillips wondering what in the world is going on here. First part of this run, Southern Miss powdered away inside, drew some fouls, got to the line, and now they're doing it with swarming defensive pressure. Another turnover, and here they go again. More transition, Brooks, quick pull. Rattles around and out, rebound by Michael Craig. And it's an 18-0 run. And the Southern Miss lead is 14 with a minute and a half to go here in the first half. Things turn so fast. Boardingham goes to the bench in foul trouble. You're thinking the Bison might have an opportunity to exploit that inside. They go cold on offense. The defensive pressure really heats up from Southern Miss, and they've been off and running here the last two or three minutes. We sat in yesterday on their scouting report of Southern Miss, Jamal, and the one thing that Saul Phillips said is we have to avoid the catastrophic turnover that leads to points on the other end, easy points for Southern Miss. And what we've seen here in the last six, seven minutes, Southern Miss has really taken advantage of those catastrophic turnovers from North Dakota State with the pressure here in the backcourt. Bad passes going out of bounds, players losing the dribble, getting it taken from them, fast break opportunities going the other way from Southern Miss. Not much has gone right for NDSU here in the last six, seven, eight minutes. And this Southern Miss squad built up of mostly transfers has really done a number here on Saul Phillips' squad. And you mentioned that 18-0 run that the Golden Eagles are on, keyed by their defensive pressure and by the Bison's inability to get into a comfortable offensive set. Felt, clean look for three. Finally, the drought comes to an end as Felt buries a second three, and the lead is down to 11. Really good movement by NDSU out of the timeout. You knew Saul would draw something up. Gets Felt the open look on the wing. Hopefully more to follow. 
Brooks working off the screen. To Craig, wheels and deals inside. Brown open for three, and he answers. Yes, Aaron Brown, his second three. You said and it earlier, 41% three-point shooter at Temple. He's a spot-up type of guy. That's his game, and he's getting a little hot now. And Southern Miss is really cooking here the last eight minutes offensively. Trayvon Wright gets his own rebound. And Taylor Braun lines up the three, and Taylor Braun has his first triple. Five for Braun, and the lead is 11. Donnie Tyndall will take a 30-second timeout. There's a look at Donnie Tyndall. His second season here at Southern Miss led the Golden Eagles to the NIT quarterfinals in a 27-10 record in his first season. Spent three years as the head coach at Moorhead State in Kentucky. Took them to a couple of NCAA tournaments. Certainly we had mentioned how difficult this pre-season, pre-conference schedule is for North Dakota State. St. Mary's last week, now Southern Miss tomorrow morning. North Dakota State will hit the road for a matchup with Western Michigan on Wednesday before coming back for a game on Sunday against UND. Final 20 seconds of the first half. As Craig will inbound to Watson. So the Miss will obviously hold for the final shot here as we tick down under seven, five. Watson gave it up to Brown. Brooks, quick trigger for three at the buzzer. Off the rim, no good. And the Bison. Don Miss have come in here on a big old run in that first half to take that 11-point lead. There's a look at Gerald Brooks at five first-half points. We should have mentioned the officials tonight are John Higgins, Terry Oglesby, and Chris Beaver. And Higgins worked the national championship game between Michigan and Louisville in the Final Four this last year. So certainly an official that had some big-time experience. Quick pull on Marshall Bjorklund here as the ball went inside to Easton. And Easton had 11 first half points. Also familiar with the pace. He's familiar with the 2 1 2 and the trap and the up tempo style. I mentioned how Louisville runs it and how Tyndale really got it from them. Second foul on Marshall Bjorklund. Watson. Out to Brooks. Inside to Michael Craig. Watson was fouled by Alexander as Alexander went flying on the shot fake. And they are not going to call it a shooting foul. They're going to say it's on the pass, so no shots coming up here for Watson. One of the keys for the Bison in there. Pre-game planning, stay on your feet. Don't fall for these ball fakes. That gives the shooter space and opportunity. First foul there for Lawrence Alexander, the junior from Peoria. Back pull from the perimeter for Brooks. Trayvon Wright has the rebound. And here comes the Bison. Braun looking to drive. He did not get the shot off. The foul will be on Watson. And Neil Watson picks up his first. Take a look at the Nodak Mutual Insurance replay. Braun bringing the ball up the floor just to break the press. Saw an opening and attacked the basket hard. Hopefully more of that coming. And Taylor Braun held to just five first-half points as Alexander looks to inbound and gets it into Corey Brown. More pressure. That 2-3 where they extend it almost looks like a 1-3-1, Jamal. It does. And it has so many different looks. It's, it's a basic 2-3, but you mentioned it. They can make it look like a 1-3-1 or a 2-2-1. They can do a lot of things out of there. Trayvon, a good look there. Trayvon right and misses. Watson drives. Wild shot on the floater taken by Taylor Braun, and he'll bring it back here for North Dakota State. Alexander will pull the trigger for three. Yes. No hesitation. First points of the game for Lawrence Alexander and the Bison. Get a quick three here to pull within eight. Doing the work on defense to start in the first half, hoping to get some easy buckets and shrink this lead. There's another stop as he steps out of bounds. 
Careless turnover there for Southern Miss as Brooks stepped on the sideline. Nodak Mutual Insurance replay for Alexander. L.A. caught that ball and stepped into it with no hesitation, let it fly. He knew it was pure the second it left his hands. Alexander will bring it up. Drawn to Trayvon Wright, and a reach-in foul on Brooks, his first. Good things happen when you get the ball to the elbow in that part against this tough 2-3 zone. Chip Armelin getting set to check in here for Southern Miss. Here replace Brooks. Go for fans, remember him as you mentioned. He's a guy that put up 20 points against Nebraska back in 2012. Sat out all of last year to transfer. Originally from Sulphur, Louisiana, not too far from home. Right. Traps gets it inside of Yorkland, who's also double teamed. Now back out to Braun. Alexander thought about it. Now drives. Braun. And Taylor had a shot there. Gave it up to Corey Brown. And Braun got it to go. Plus the foul. That's the aggressiveness that Saul's been looking for from a sophomore. You mentioned being a bulldog on defense. Watch him grab this ball and attack the rim immediately. Finishing through contact. Tough points. Big time bucket there for the sophomore. Big time finish there for Corey Brown, the sophomore. And the Bison a chance here for a quick 6-0 run to start the second half, Jamal. Really, just what the doctor ordered. Gets them right back in the game, and it's anybody's game after that. If you can get it close right out the half, have the execution, because you know Saul drew up a couple of plays coming right out of the gate. Things have worked NDSU's way. Corey Brown finishes off. The three-point play, and Saul, Saul Phillips, Phillips wants the crowd to get into it. Telling everybody to get up and make some noise. Armelin drives, and they're going to get Corey Brown on the foul. A lot more of those touch fouls being called in NCAA basketball this year after a rule change, the hand checking, we're trying to get rid of that. Any, any forearm or hand placed on the hip or the back, they're going to whistle that every time. Yeah, that's just it, Jamal. I was taught growing up to use your arm bar. You can't do that anymore in post defense. Brown working off a screen. And this one's thrown away as Brown was looking for Michael Craig. And the Bison had some momentum here in the first two and a half minutes of the second half. Things have certainly changed. Now it's the Bison getting those key stops. A few unforced turnovers by Southern Miss. One forced turnover. As the crowd's getting up into it, making some noise, we got a ball game now. Alexander will bring it up. Here comes the double, and Alexander got it to Taylor Braun. He's swinging it around the perimeter. Trayvon Wright, no hesitation. Trayvon Wright has another three. He's got nine, and the Bison are within two. And the fans are up on their feet. This place has some life. Donnie Tyndall wants the zipper formation offensively here. Watson gives it up to Craig. Muscles inside over right. Off the rim, no good. Offensive board, tips away. And Bjorklund has the rebound, and here comes Braun. Braun off the glass, and the foul. Fired up. Taylor Braun putting the team on his back, making some big plays, getting to the line, breaks the press by himself, gets the three-point play or the opportunity for a three-point play going at everybody seemingly on Southern Miss, finishing through the contact. And the Bison, an 11-0 run to start the second half. Michael Craig and Watson will take a seat. NDSU couldn't have started the second half any better. Braun misses the free throw and cannot convert the three-point play, but the Bison, within the first three and a half minutes, have pulled even. And this has really got the crowd back into it. They had to sit on their hands for most of the last part of the first half, but the energy in this building is back. The fans are rocking. Fordingham posting up on Katie, goes inside, and Trayvon Wright swatted it away, but they're going to get I think Chris Kading. Chris Kading on the foul, and Fordingham will shoot two. It's those arm bars that you and I talked about. I was taught to play defense like this, too. Watch Kading. Just get some hands on him. I don't know if they whistled that on the forearm or what, but 
It's good post defense for a while. Nodak mutual insurance replay as Boardingham will go to the line. He missed his only two free throws in the first half. Rattles that one home. When he had that put back dunk in the first half, kind of looked at each other and went, okay, this is going to be a good day for him. He has that offensive athleticism and that length. But when he got into foul trouble, it changed Southern Miss's game plan a little bit. And Davion Boardingham, the leading scorer on this Southern Miss squad, and he is two for two. And Southern Miss has the lead, 41-39. Braun drives. Armelin came up with the turnover. Numbers for Southern Miss. Armelin drops it off for Braun. He lays it in and got the foul on Taylor Braun. I think the official called that foul before anything actually happened. He anticipated the foul. I didn't see any contact from Taylor Braun. Nodak mutual insurance replay. Brown finishes it off, and boy, it counts. And it's 43-39 on, on the Shields scoreboard as Southern Miss has rallied back with four after the Bison have tied it. Take a look at the replay of this call on Taylor Braun. He flies through, and I think the official, like I said, made up his mind that there would be contact. Looks like a no call at best, but another foul for Taylor Braun, and now Southern Miss is going to the line. Aaron Brown, 14 points to lead the Southern Miss squad, including a pair of three-pointers. And he knocks down the free throw, 15 for Brown. So after that Bison push where they tied it up at 39, now we'll see what they can do. So they find themselves down by five again. on the perimeter, Trayvon Wright. Oh, inside. Whoa, what a finish. Oh. 32 at the rim. All he needs is a crease. You know Trayvon has the athleticism to finish above the rim. I think he was above the square on that one. 11 in the game here now for Trayvon Wright. Five in the first half as Boardingham goes to work. Brown on the drive. Armelin working on belts with that left hand off the rim, no good. Bjorklund tried to secure the rebound, and Trayvon Wright ripped it down and got it to Alexander. Here come the Bison, trailing by three. Bison were looking for Trayvon around the baseline for possible alley oops. Smart to hold on to that one. Trayvon wants that lob inside, though. Belt open for three, and Mike Belt buries another, his third of the game. And the Bison have tied it up at 44. Saw calling for the fans to get up again. The Bison bitch telling everybody to get into this one. Armelin works off a screen. He's cut off. Brown, quick trigger for three. Yes. He got Aaron caught Brown. reaching. Brown was trying to help side reach. He left his man, and that's the guy you don't want to leave. We mentioned Brown being the spot-up three-point shooter. Taylor's got to stay with his man. Aaron Brown, three three-pointers. He's got 18 to lead the Golden Eagles. Belt open again for three. That's off the rim, no good. And they're going to get Marshall B. Orkland for the foul. Third foul on the Orkland. I think the other official wanted to call it on the Southern Miss player. They didn't look like they were on the same page there. A couple of substitutions here as Boardingham and Armelin will take a seat. Houston back in the game. Along with Norville Carey, who gave the Golden Eagles a nice spark off the bench, along with Jeremiah Eason. We'll see how the second unit does for the Golden Eagles. Brooks working off a screen, driving inside. Off the rim and a strong finish around Trayvon Wright. And Brooks has his first two here in the second half, been seven for the game. Oh. 
Mike Felt cutting through, was not expecting the pass from Trayvon Wright. Now Alexander will drive. He's got Felt. Plenty of time to line it up. And another one goes down for Mike Felt. And Felt heating up. He's got four threes. And 13 points off the bench for the Bison within two. As long as Southern Miss continue, continues to leave him, I guarantee you the Bison find that guy on the perimeter. Carey. Almost turned it over. Almost a carry there for Houston. Balls loose. Man. Taylor Braun's got the basketball. And a scrum on the ground as Brown looked like he had the basketball. And it's going to be a jump ball and it'll go to North Dakota State. MDSU showing off the scrappiness. Tons of active hands on defense, swiping in, trying to pick up a steal. When that ball hit the ground, Braun was on it in a hurry. And Boardingham right back in as Easton will take a seat. The Bison only 28 first half points. They've already got 19 here in the first seven and a half minutes of the second half. Alexander will give it up to Braun. Braun, Alexander, he'll shoot the three. LA a little bit. Back. That guy's got some built-in springs, I tell you. Wow. And Wright's got 13, and the Bison pull even again. Carey inside. Almost turned over as Trayvon Wright came streaking in front of the pass. Boardingham was the target. Nodak Mutual Insurance replay and watch number 32. Coming in baseline, you can see him looking for the tip. Whoa, I think his head was at the rim on that one. Big finish. Nice play by Trayvon Wright. The senior from Waterloo, Iowa. A couple of highlight finishes here in the second half. He'll give you one a game, it seems like, every night. 13.6 rebounds. You saw him knock that ball out of bounds, playing active defense as well. He's all over the floor here in the second half. Listen to this crowd. And the fans are into it. Easton on the wing, tries to get it inside. Now out to Brown, and Brooks will set things up at the top of the key. Eight on the shot clock. Brooks got it inside. Easton threw the foul and put it up off the glass for two. And Kading picks up another foul. That's three on Chris Kading, and Southern Miss answers. They lead by two on the Shield scoreboard, 51-49 here in the second half. The scouting report on Trayvon Wright put a body on him, because when you don't, this is what happens. He comes flying in from all angles with two monster jams, showing off the athleticism and the hops. Wow. Seven points here in the second half, 13 in the game for Trayvon Wright. He's also got six rebounds. Eason, right before we went to break, finished off the glass, threw the foul on Chris Keating. Missed the free throw, rebound by Wright, his seventh. Ron having problems with this ball here. And almost a 10-second violation there on Braun as Brooks had him beat up. MBSU really been, has really taken care of the ball in the second half. We'll have one turnover. Braun from way out is off the mark. Rebound to Boardingham, and here comes Watson on the drive. Floater, and that's swatted away by Trayvon Wright. And Braun was there as well. Both of them wanted a piece of that one. I think you're right. I think Trayvon got the block. Take a look at the Nodak Mutual Insurance replay. So everyone comes to the ball and help defense. Boy, does Trayvon Wright get up in the air. Alexander back in the game for Corey Brown. He erases so many mistakes for his team defensively. Brooks driving. Tough shot. What a floater with the left hand there for Brooks, the senior from the Bronx. Alexander gets it to Taylor Braun. He drives, gives it to Trayvon Wright. A blocking foul on Watson. 15th foul on Southern Miss. That play might be there a few more times if NDSU wants it. When they break the trap to the sideline, the late man streaks up the middle. That's been Taylor Braun for most of this game. 
He can continue to attack if he sees an opening. And this one turned over on the errant pass from Alexander. Felt was not expecting it. And so Southern Miss will get the basketball back. Second turnover of the second half here for North Dakota State. Ten fifty-eight to go, 49 for North Dakota State, 53 for the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss on the Shield scoreboard. Michael Craig, have not heard much from Michael Craig here tonight. Brooks working again off a high screen. Inside to Eason, taken away by Taylor Braun, and here come the Bison. Skip pass to... Mike Felt, he drives. Oh. Had it knocked away, and now numbers here for Southern Miss. Brooks able to convert. Got the feed inside from Brown, and Brooks has two more. Six in the second after Brooks. 11 for the game. And Southern Miss, just like that, leads by six. Transition buckets. Not a lot of movement for NDSU here. Mike Felt. Gets it to Taylor Braun. Eight on the shot clock. Trayvon Wright from the baseline. Yes. And Trayvon Wright hits the 18-footer. Buys him within four. He's got the hot hand. Keep looking for number 32. North Dakota State needs to string together a couple of stops here on the defensive end. Watson. To Craig. Brown drives. Offensive foul. And they're going to get Michael Craig. First foul on Michael Craig and another turnover here for Southern Miss. He said we hadn't said his name a whole lot lately. Watch him kind of back into Braun here. Try to move him around. They whistle him for the offensive foul. Started boxing out before the shot went up, and they'll get you for that every time. Nodak mutual insurance replay. And Brown will take a seat. Chip Armelin. Back in here for Southern Miss as Alexander will bring it up. Felt inside of Bjorklund, who's been very quiet tonight. And they're going to whistle Easton for the foul. Excuse me, they're going to get Craig, not Easton, coming back in. Every time Marshall touches the ball on that block, the double's coming. He has to be able to get rid of the ball and make a decision quickly because if he doesn't, he'll get into trouble. Got bailed out with a foul there, but Marshall wants to avoid those type of situations that could lead to more turnovers and more transition possibilities for Southern Mississippi. Marshall Lee Orkland, six points early, has not scored since then. One one. Now he has. Knocks down the free throw. Brown back in. Felt will take a seat. Marshall Bjorklund. Knocks them both down. Eight points for Bjorklund. Now Marshall heads to the bench. This Kading comes in to replace him. Kading playing with three fouls. As was Marshall. Deontay Houston started the game. He has not played very many minutes. Bingaya guarded by Brown. Armelin up to Craig, looking inside for Eason. Driving inside by Bianca. Wild shot, and he got it to go. What a shot by Bingaya. Falling down, fading away. No deck mutual insurance replay. Nice bailout call here, barreling through the lane. I think he just put that one up on the glass, hoping for the best, and he got lucky, and it bounced in. First two of the game for Matt Bingaya. Fourth foul on Katie. And Michael Craig barrels in for the putback in the dunk. And four points on that possession for Southern Miss. And they lead by six. 
Wright has had the hot hand. He leads North Dakota State with 14, or 15, excuse me, in the ball game. 10 on the shot clock for the Bison. Alexander will pull the trigger. Yes! Lawrence Alexander, a big three, is second of the second half. And the lead is three Those type, Southern Miss. Those type of shots can be demoralizing for a defense. When you play 30 seconds of strong defense and give up a long three, that can really kill you. And Craig, another foul. Or they're going to say three seconds. Three second violation. I'm three second Craig. violation on Michael Craig. Another turnover for Southern Miss. And the Bison hanging around, clawing back into this one, trailing by three on the Shield scoreboard. Thanks to Lawrence Alexander and some sharp shooting from the Bison outside. North Dakota State shooting 71% here in the second half to claw within three. Saul Phillips squad an 11-0 run to start this half. Southern Miss has answered. They're shooting 57% here in the second half, and both teams playing much better offensively. The Bison will make that run and tie it up and then give up four points. They'll take another lead or tie it up again and give up another series of buckets. They have to keep up the defensive pressure as they try to make this comeback. Trayvon Wright had that one rattle off. And the elbow jumper. Nice interior defense by Marshall. Even with the three fouls, he's still being physical in there. Craig looks to drive, uses that body. Cut off by Wright. Watson. Finished by Easton underneath. Nice pass by Watson as he broke down Felt off the dribble. Easton, 15 points off the bench here for Southern Miss. Lead is back to five. Southern Miss continues to extend their zone. And that one almost went in. It was an alley think, yeah. for Wright. And it almost rattled in for Bjorkland. Craig drives. Foul on Trayvon Wright. That's three on Trayvon. And Craig a chance to add a couple of more from the free throw line. Time taken away, and the Bison are continuing to give up multiple possessions where they're giving up buckets. You mentioned the one where they had a four-point possession for Southern Miss, and now a missed free throw, and maybe he'll get out of this one unscathed, but you've got to get stops if you're going to get back in this ballgame. Aaron Brown back in, along with Boardingham. Eason and Bingayo will take a seat for the Golden Eagles. Second free throw is also no good. The lead remains five. Six and a half to go here in the second half. Brayvon Wright cut off, looks at the felt. Just throw, senior. They're just throwing it up near the rim and letting Trayvon go get it. You mean the alley oop that Marshall threw up was a little off. That one's on the money. And they're showing off the athleticism of number 32 right now. 11 points in the second half here for Trayvon Wright. Bison again within three. Need a stop. Got to get a stop. Morningham facing up on Bjorklund. And somehow got that one to fall. The little floater as Boardingham was able to finish over Marshall. Difficult finish. Eight points in the game now for Boardingham. Trayvon Wright wheels and deals inside, misses the hook over Boardingham. Brown, quick release for three. No good. Craig trying to corral the rebound, and Craig is going to get the foul. Third he foul can't on believe Craig. It. He cannot believe it. No neutral insurance replay. Maybe offensive goaltending not called, but then, yeah. 
He caught a Bison player in the mouth with a loose hand. He came as he came underneath, had reached and made some contact with Trayvon Wright, who will have a one and one opportunity here. Trayvon knocks down the first free throw. He's got 18 on the night, leading North Dakota State. Belt with 13. Alexander with six. His energy has been very important for this team tonight. The fans have fed off of it. His teammates have fed off of it. And he's kept them afloat in the second half. Now it's just a three-point game. 19 in the game for Trayvon Wright. And it's a three-point game with 5.09 to go. Here in the second half, Jamal, we've seen the Bison convert much better offensively, and it really just started from not turning the football over and not speeding up. You know, we talked about the coaches yesterday had kind of told us we just got to slow down, make the easy pass. They got away from down. that in the first half, and especially Taylor Braun making cross-court difficult passes, getting caught on the sideline. That's an easy trap for a defense. Now the Bison are going straight into the middle, avoiding the trap. They're making better basketball decisions. They're finding the big man at the free throw line. Trayvon's got some dunks because of that. They've got some easy looks inside. Corey Brown's finished at the basket because of that. And it's it's playing better basketball, but smarter ba basketball, like you said, on offense. On defense, that's where I think Saul, Saul Phillips has some concern right now. Because teams seem to be giving up points in bunches. Things are tightening up here a little bit. But they've got to continue to get stops. They want to stay in the game. Two very good mid-major programs, both ranks in the top 10 in many mid-major polls coming into the season. Southern Miss, a win over Jackson State, following that up with a win at DePaul, a Big East squad. This is a team in Southern Miss that has knocked off a lot of big boys, beat Georgia last year. 27 wins last year, made it to the NIT semifinals. A coach that's taken teams to the NCAA tournament before took Moorhead State to the NCAA tournament twice. So the, the team, coach knows how to get the most out of Southern Miss, and the players seem to respect them and play with a lot of energy, as you've seen throughout the day. Feed off their defense a lot. And a lot of success at the junior college level as well. For Donnie Tyndall. And of course, most of the players on this roster are junior college transfers, including Watson and Craig, Boardingham, all those guys. Yep. Watson drives, this is inside to Craig, hesitates, and then it's swatted away by Trayvon Wright. Taylor Braun will give it up to Alexander, and Lawrence has hit a couple of big threes here in the second half. Braun, no hesitation, the three, again, Taylor Braun has his first, his second three of the ball game. He's got 10, and North Dakota State has knotted things up at 63. In the first half, when they were down 11, we didn't know what type of game this one would turn out to be. It turned out to be a dog fight here late. Craig isolated. And a big finish as he used his elbow to ward off Taylor Braun. And the officials are going to take a look at the replay on this one. Now, this is something they can do. Because we're televising this game, they do have our monitor to look at this replay. And you don't see you don't see Taylor take dives. I mean, he's not a guy that acts out there on the court. He got hit with an elbow, and they want to take a look and find out, was it an inadvertent elbow? Is there a foul that they could have called? Now they'll take a look at this replay. So our television production crew will show the replay of Michael Craig in the post. A couple of substitutions. Looks like Eason's getting set to come back in for Southern Miss. We'll see what happens if they determine whether or not it was an elbow or, or not. It seemed pretty clear cut. And John Higgins all the way on your right there, leaning down looking at the monitor. We'll take another look here. This is what the officials are seeing. Yeah, he got caught those elbows the up high. 
Craig finished it. Big oh, time for the 6'5 right. junior. He's got hustle. Officials have gone back, taking points off the board and calling fouls in these situations before, and whether they've tried to decide whether it's flagrant or anything of that sort. But usually when you swing high like that, you open yourself up for the possibility of being whistled for those flagrant fouls. Craig really had his way inside with the DePaul big men earlier this week. Southern Miss and Louisiana Tech expected to contend for that Conference USA championship. A Not conference that's seen a lot of changes here in the last several years, Jamal. A lot of guys or a lot of people gone. That's a conference. If I say Conference USA, you might think of a team like Memphis. Nope, the Memphis Tigers have moved out. They're no longer in Conference USA. Tulane is a team that's left or, or is going to leave next year. They're going to go play in the American Conference. They're going to get a team in Western Kentucky that's going to join the Conference USA. So a lot of shakeups, especially when the Big East and ACC had teams move around in basketball sprinkled all across college basketball, definitely in the Conference USA. And the officials are still talking about this one. We've showed them about every replay we have, and the officials are telling Saul they did not see anything flagrant on the elbow swing. So the bucket will count. So Saul saying, you want to go check my guy for blood? Because he definitely got caught. Two Craig players. actually goes and apologizes there to Taylor Braun. Good sportsmanship. So the Bison have the basketball trailing by two as we tick down towards four minutes here in the second half. Good basketball game here from the BSA tonight in Fargo. The best basketball team that's come to Fargo in quite a while in Southern Mississippi. Well, Saul Phillips said this is the best basketball team that's ever come here and did not hesitate when he was asked that question. And they played like it early. And the Bison have responded to the challenge here in the second half. And they're playing with a little extra fire. Braun trapped, was able to get rid of it as Brooks extends that pressure out the half court. Cross court pass, Felt, three pointer. He's fouled by Craig, and he will get three free throws. That's four on Michael Craig. So Mike Felt will have three free throws and a chance for North Dakota State to grab the lead. It's 65 63 on the Shield scoreboard. 3.44 to go from the Bison Sports Arena. Three forty-four to go in the game. Felt going to the line for a chance to knock down three free throws. Give the Bison the lead. And the student section getting into it behind us. The energy in this building in the second half really, really picked up. It's been incredible effort from the fans. And the North Dakota State players gave the fans a lot to get excited about. Felt rattles home the first free throw. Boy, so important for NDSU to have that 11-0 run to start that second half after they looked lost offensively late in the first half. Certainly second free throw felt is not good. Certainly needed that run. Felt will get one more. He's two of four at the line tonight. Felt knocks down two of three at the line, and that ties the game at 65. And Saul wants that crowd to get into it. Wants more noise. Mike Felt actually moved into fifth place today on the all-time NDSU three-pointers made list. Couldn't get three there, but he ties the game up. Inside to Fordingham, facing up on Kading. No good. Craig offensive board. That's no good. Trayvon Wright, his 10th rebound of the night. And North Dakota State a chance to take the lead. Trayvon's done so much for this team in the second half. Active on the boards, block shots, deflections for steals, highlight dunks. He's been the man in the second half. Corey Brown to Trayvon Wright again on the baseline. That one rattles off, rebound by Craig. He was able to get it to Brown as he hit the deck along with Brooks, and here comes Brown, Craig. Boardingham wanted that basketball inside, and Craig didn't give it to him. High screen, Watson. And Craig thought maybe his coach wanted a timeout. Ten on the shot clock. Watson inside, gives it off for Craig, and Craig finishes off the glass. Watson's game is a distributor. He's not much of a shooter, but he can break down a defense with his agility and his speed. He's able to get inside. Find the open man. Slick pass by Watson there. 
Six points in the second half, eight in the game for Michael Craig as Saul Phillips calls for a timeout. North Dakota State inching back within two, ties the game, but just cannot seem to get that lead. I'll tell you the ebbs and flows of a basketball game. Just when you think you're there, it's going back the other way, and they can't get a defensive stop. They'll tie it, give up a bucket, they come back, give up a bucket. There's a lot of fight left in this Bison team, though. Give credit to Southern Miss offensively, shooting 53% from the floor for the game. North Dakota State's percentage up to 48%. Also six of nine from three-point range here in the second half. That'll get you back into a ball game, won't it? Belt has two of them. Alexander has two three-pointers. And Braun and Trayvon Wright each have a three here in the second half. And they've identified Mike Felt, the shooter. Southern Miss had to make an adjustment. He was getting tons of open looks. Every time he's on the floor, they're yelling, shooter, shooter, shooter. Trying to make sure there are no defensive breakdowns on their end of the floor. And Saul Phillips here going offense for defense as he'll take Brown out and put Felt in on the offensive possessions and likely substitute Felt out on the defensive possessions for NDSU. And they're going to get Brooks for the foul, and that'll be the 10th team foul on Southern Miss. Second on Brooks, and that means Taylor Braun will have two free throws coming up. Brooks actually had a couple of questionable borderline fouls there. Not necessarily on just Braun, but he was pretty close on L.A. as well when Alexander was bringing the ball up the floor. It was only a matter of time before they got him for one of them. Off the front of the rim, and it rattles home there for Taylor Braun. His first free throw. Or should I say his second free throw. He missed one earlier in the game on a three-point play. The Bison will continue to put the ball in his hands late, let him make plays as a distributor or as a scorer. Hopefully he can get to the line a little bit more here down the stretch. Braun off on his second attempt. And the Bison trail by one. Two minutes to go here from the Bison Sports Arena in Fargo. We're set for a fun finish at the BSA. Brooks will handle the basketball. Inside, Forningham lost it. And out of bounds as Trayvon Wright tried to keep it in. 11 on the shot clock coming up for Southern Miss. Look at Corey Brown. 30-second timeout called here for Southern Miss. And this one going to come down to the final possession tonight. You can't ask anything more of your team, especially considering the way the Bison got behind in the first half with turnover after turnover, giving up open look for threes. This game had a look that things were going to get really, really ugly for NDSU. But they came out on fire in the second half, had an 11-0 run after Braun hit a big three toward the end of the first half. And they've been able to sustain that momentum after their initial run in the second half. It's been a really entertaining basketball game here tonight. Southern Miss has out-rebounded North Dakota State 27-20. Boards for the Golden Eagles. But NDSU, after committing 12 turnovers in that first half, have just three here in the second half. And that's why it's a one point game with 1.43 to go. And bounded to Craig. Brooks open for three. It is off the rim, no good. Boardingham skies for the rebound. Boardingham goes back up for it, and a jump ball called. The ball will remain with Southern Miss. Good look there for Brooks on the wing. How about Boardingham going over Kading for that offensive rebound? Tons of athleticism out of Boardingham. He's been quiet here today. Just eight points. He got in foul trouble early. But they've got him in the game down late. Brooks again. Finds Brown. Brooks. Watson open for three. And it's good. Huge shot there for Neil Watson. His first points of the game. And the lead is four for Southern Miss. Braun back the other way. Will drive inside and it's taken away. Brooks in front of everybody. He is swatted by Lawrence Alexander. Trayvon Wright clears it. Here comes Taylor Braun. Big swat there with a minute to go. Don't do that. Under now a under a minute. Trayvon up high. 
Bjorkland was fouled by Craig, and that's it for Craig. And defensively, I think, is where Southern Miss will miss him. Has a lot of strength down there on the block to defend Braun, to defend Bjorkland. Take a look at the no replay here. No insurance replay, and Trayvon fading away. Bjorkland there for the putback, and Craig whistled for it. Again, Craig also a very, very good rebounder. Ten rebounds tonight for Michael Craig. Leads the Golden Eagles. Neil Watson hadn't hit a three-point shot all season. He was 0 for 7 before letting that one fly. That's the biggest shot of the year for him is now his team has a four-point lead. Big free throws coming up here for Bjorkland. North Dakota State 75% from the line as a team tonight. How big was that block by Lawrence Alexander? Looked like an easy basket for Brooks. He could have quit on that play at half court. He chased him down and was able to throw it off the backboard. Never given up on the play. Oh. First free throw is missed there for Bjorkland. He's two of four from the line tonight. It's the little things when you're trying to make a comeback that you look back on at the end of the game and go, we could have done this better. Turnovers is one of those things. NDSU fixed that problem in the second half, but you can't miss the free ones when you're trying to complete the comeback. Yorkland hits the second, and the lead is three with 52 seconds to go. Boardingham inbounds it to Watson. Brooks up to Eason. Full court press for the Bison, getting Southern Miss out of sorts. Boy, they, they call called the time that timeout out with the basketball in the air. Now you're supposed to have possession. I think the official saying when he went to call the timeout, the ball was still in Southern Miss's possession. If Taylor Braun had come up with a steal there and you're going the other way, all of a sudden you got problems. Big game here for North Dakota straight State, one and one on the season. Southern Miss looking to go to 3-0 and for hitting the road this weekend down to Mobile, Alabama to take on South Alabama. Tough shooting night against St. Mary's for NDSU in that loss. And they came out here tonight and after a rough first half with turnovers and missed shots and defensive lapses, their second half has answered any questions that Saul Phillips might have about his guy's mental toughness and ability to make adjustments. Raymond Wright, big time performance tonight. 19 points, 11 rebounds. Watson has it. 20 on the shot clock, 36 on the game clock. NDSU looking for one more stop. High screen and roll. Trayvon, Trayvon with the steal. Wright. Almost came up with it. And North Dakota State has it. And they call timeout. timeout. And you know Mike Felt's going to check back into the game, and here comes number three with NDSU down 70 to 67. Take a look at the replay here. Trayvon with those long arms able to reach in and knock that ball loose. Corey Brown's all over that one. No that mutual, mutual insurance, insurance replay. replay. There's a look at Felt. He's checked into the game and four three pointers tonight for Mike Felt. Now we get to take a look at what NDSU can draw up to get their weapon free. There's no saying that this ball's going to fell, but you gotta imagine that the hired gun off the bench, as he likes to view himself, is gonna get the chance. Either he or Taylor Braun will probably be your options on this play here. Of course, Alexander has a pair of three-pointers here in the second half, also a possibility. And you don't have to go for three. You can get the quick two, then of course you have to foul. Things get a little bit interesting in that situation. And North, North Dakota State has really shot the ball from the outside well. Just one of 13 at St. Mary's last or earlier this week in a loss, a 13-point loss. And so far here tonight, 9 of 21, 43%, much better. Earlier this morning, Saul Phillips told us it only takes one. He's talking about Mike Felt's approach when he shoots. He could be 0 for 10, but on that 11th one, he's, he thinks it's going in. Every time he shoots the ball, he thinks it's going in. Only takes one to start a fire is what Mike Felt says. Bison need one big bucket here. It doesn't have to be a three, but they're going to need something in a defensive stop to come away with a win here with 18.1 seconds to go. And if you don't get three, if you can get two right away, I think you're okay. Yep. 
but you can't waste a lot of time passing it around. And that's tough against this zone from Southern Miss. Five or six or seven seconds off the clock, and you end up with two. You're going to have to make that quick foul. Hope that things can work out. There's no saying, like you said, you got to get the three. But if you want two, you got to get it fast. We tick down now to 15. Bison run their sets. 10. Trayvon Wright spins. Oh! He's fouled, and he just about put it in as Boardingham picked up his fourth foul. Opportunity for the three-point play, which is what NDSU drew up here to get Trayvon open in the middle of the paint. He's able to wheel and deal. Smart play to hold on to that one and not kick it out because Watson was closing on felt. Now Trayvon goes to the line with an opportunity for two. Trey really wanted that one. Smooth on that first shot. 20 points for Trayvon Wright. Defense for offense as Corey Brown checks in for Mike Felt. Two-point game for the Bison. Watch the long outlet after this play. They'll have to foul quick or try to get a steal. Knocks down the second one. Eason is going to look to inbound. It said Chip Armelin is going to come in. A good free throw shooter as Boardingham will take a seat. One point game with 8.2 to go. How clutch is Trayvon Wright? 21 for Trey. Watson will inbound. Brown is the guy they want to get it to, or Brooks. Oh. And that was almost a travel on Brooks. Chip Armelin. Foul with two and a half seconds left. They were to kill a lot of clock on that one. Now he'll step to the line for two free throws. And no matter what happens here, the Bison will have a shot. Two and a half seconds. You saw NDSU practice these. As Armelin toes the line and rims off the first one. Bison still have a timeout here. Think they're going to take it no matter what happens. They're going to try to get the rebound and call a timeout, or if it's made, they're going to call a timeout. Saul Phillips has already drawn up the play over here on the sideline. And if you're Southern Miss here, you got to make sure you don't foul if it's a miss. You don't want to go over the back and give one of those bigs from NDSU a chance to win it at the line. Armelin lines it up. That's off. And the clock was off. They'll have to re put some time back on the clock. Trayvon Wright came up with the rebound as Brown got underneath him a little bit there. That was dangerous. So Armelin misses both. And North Dakota State is probably going to reset the clock to close to 2.3, maybe 2.2 seconds. 2.3 at least. When I, when I heard the whistle, I thought he was whistled for a foul because he did kind of undercut Trayvon. Tough rebound, but that's been the night that Trayvon's had free throws, three pointers. As you see, the officials taking a look at our monitors and our replay here. We have the ability for replay to see how much time came off the clock. Bison have already called timeout there. 1.7, 1.6. So North Dakota State's going to have a chance to win it here at home. Trailing by one. They trailed by 11 at the half. But it's going to have to be something special. See what you got drawn up. What do you think, 1.6? 1.6 is a safe bet. That's enough for maybe one pass or one dribble, and that's going to be about it. So we'll see what Saul Phillips draws up here. You see a lot of teams pull off the play where they're inbounding under their own basket. The inbound to the middle of the floor to your biggest man to let him hit a streaking three-point shooter. With 1.8, that'd be tough to pull off. I don't think they're going to leave it at 0.7 seconds. And they're talking it over right now. And as you see, John Higgins, the official on the right, says, let me look at it one more time is the referee, the head official for this matchup here tonight. I'm thinking two. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's see what he says. 1.8. 1 1.9? 1 1.8, 1 it looks okay, like. Okay, 1.8 seconds. Like 1.8. The advantage the officials have with the ability to go to our monitors here. And that's something the Summit League will allow all season long. As they'll pit 1.8, you can see that up there on the clock at the top of your screen. 1.8 seconds 
for NDSU. If I'm looking at this, I like the Bison to inbound the ball to Marshall Bjorklund here in the middle. Hit a streaking wing player, but I don't know and how Aaron, this is going to work out. And Aaron Brown was pointing out to Mike Felt, who was not guarded. And quickly, Donnie Tyndall called a timeout before that one was inbounded. Yeah, you might want to guard number three in this situation if you're Southern Mississippi. Or you cannot see what happens. Take, take your chances. <laughs> Of course, the difference between the NBA and the college game, if you took a timeout, you'd be able to move the ball to half court, and that changes everything significantly. When you got to go the length of the court in 1.8 seconds. That's why so often you see the biggest player on the team, 6'8", 6 6'9", 6 6 right here in the middle. You throw it to him up high, and immediately he'll hand the ball off to a streaking player up the wing. But if you're taking the ball out under your own basket, they're going to put Southern Miss is going to put their tallest guy to defend the inbound pass. And it looks like they have one checking in right now. I think that's Uday. Afida Cheku. Six foot ten junior from Nigeria will probably be that will probably go into pressure of the inbound pass. Both teams out of timeouts. So whatever happens is going to happen right now. And a good one, a barn burner from Fargo. NDSU changing up their play a little bit. Move Marshall to the wing. You see Braun here has moved up between the three-point line and half court. Mike Felt right next to us at the scorer's table. We'll see what Saul Phillips has drawn up. L.A. the trigger man. Trey's got it. Taken away by Watson before they could get a shot off. And Southern Miss is going to walk out of here.